conchs, spelled C-O-N-C-H but pronounced K-O-N-K-S, is a type of shellfish. The meat is slightly chewy, almost rubbery when raw, but very tender and sweet when cooked properly. Today I'm going to show you a very simple recipe for Belizean conch soup. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. Because we can't find conch's meat to buy in the city where we live, we had to go to Gardena, California, which is near LA, to this store to pick up the conch's meat. Notice the receipt says conch's meat Belize. I guess this is a product from Belize. So one pound has six pieces and it was 19 something a pound. We're just going to use three pieces for the soup. I'm going to put up the other three pieces to do another recipe in the very near future. So take a look at what we're going to need. Okra or okra, all-purpose flour, coconut milk, potatoes, lemon, and of course the conch's meat. And we're going to season it with salt and black pepper. So let me go ahead and rinse it off. I already squeezed some of the lemon juice on it. Now take a look at this graphic. This tells you all the ingredients that you're going to need. Go ahead and screenshot it. So I have Joe slicing off some of this dark part from the conks. You guys see how little bit it is, right? A pound, oh my goodness, $18 for a pound. So, uh, 90 bucks. So I'm gonna cut up the um, okra. A lot of people say, we don't know what okra is. In the Caribbean, in African countries, it's called okra, in America, it's called okra. Same thing, see? I'm gonna cut this up, peel the potatoes, and we have the flour and have the milk. And wait, let's have some fun. Joe, beat it. Raise your hand if you think Joe's having too much fun with this. He's beating his conks like it owes him money. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me peel some potatoes, guys. So, Joe, clean up your conks and beat it, baby. Have fun, all right? All right. Joe is just peeling off some of the black skin that's on the conks while I peel the potatoes and chop up the okra or okra. I'm just chopping off the ends, all right? The top end and the bottom end. And then I'm going to chop them up into bite-sized pieces. Now I'm showing Joe what bite-sized pieces are for the conch's meat. So now he's doing a very good job at cutting it up into bite-sized pieces. Pretty simple, right? So now we're going to make the roux. And I just make the roux for this with flour. We're not going to use butter, milk, and all that stuff that you're probably used to. My Aunt Tylene showed me how to do it like this. Just brown the flour so you have to stay here and work it because you don't want it to burn. And then I'm going to add a couple cups of water. And it's going to get lumpy. Don't panic. Just keep stirring and using the back end of the spoon against the pot like this to squish the lumps. Now if you work with it and it doesn't come out like this, go ahead and strain it, all right? So now we're going to add the conch's meat. Joe's going to put all the pieces in. And remember that this meat is kind of chewy or rubbery or even on the tough side, so it needs quite a bit of time to cook. Give it a stir. Add some more water. This is a couple cups of water. Now, I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes, but that's not how long it's going to take to cook it, all right? You know what, guys? I forgot to tell you, we're going to need some onions. So, half of a diced up onion. Now, your pot's going to do this. Definitely, for sure, going to do this. Put a utensil in the pot to quiet it down. Some people even lay the utensil over the top of the pot like this. But I just stay here, put the utensil in, or give it a stir, and it quiets down. It's going to do it several times. And you don't want to have to clean up your stove, right? So here comes the coconut milk, half a tin. You can use the whole tin, but I'm only using half because I need the next half for something else. So I'm adding more water because now I'm going to put in the potatoes. So this is at the 15 minute mark. Put all the potatoes in. And if you notice, I soaked the potatoes in water because I didn't want them to become black while I waited to do the other stuff. Now when the potatoes become fork tender like this, it's time to add some of the spices. So one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. This is the powder ricado, and you can replace this for paprika. Now ricado is made from annatto and it just colors the food, just kind of like what paprika does. So I've added the okra, or the okra, however you call it. And all we want to do is make this reduce, somewhat. We don't want it to get too much reduced because we are making a soup. Let me taste. It needs more salt, so another half a teaspoon of salt. And this is going to be to your taste, okay? I'm tasting again. Ooh, perfection, you guys. <laughs> Look at it. Look how gorgeous this thing is. Now cut the fire off. Follow me outside so I can plate it. When plating soup for photography, you have to put the solid ingredients in the bowl first and then add the super broth like this so that you don't mess up the sides of the bowl so your picture can look perfect like this. Today I have two bowls of soup. 
Here, and both of these are mine. Ain't nobody getting up. I'd like to see the day. <laughs> no, 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 back up, back up. Back up at the close. <laughs> I got some rice. I like my rice on, in the soup. Joe likes his rice on the side. This only could feed three people if you're not greedy, all right? I get dragged up the side when I do seafood and I stretch it so thin. And people are like, where's that going? I'm like, well, send me some because we have to make it stretch, right? Mm -hmm. Me and Joe was going to like gobble this up. All of a sudden, Joshua goes, I might like it. Can you save me some? I'm like, why? So remember, I did not use the whole tin of coconut milk, but you can, all right? So let's taste Joe. Let me grab a piece of cones. Can you find any cones in there? If you could find it. I think folks, they make you want to hit the girl. You guys know what conch is, right? People, uh, people pronounce it conch or conch, but it's conch. Caribbean people say conch. It's that thing that lives in that shell, you know that shell that you put to your ear and you hear the ocean come in when you're at the beach? That's what we eating. That thing right there. So good. Thanks for watching, y'all. Me and Joe going to throw people. down now. You put your rice on the side, baby? Yep. Well, my rice went right in here. It's my rice. No more than this. This thing for me. Half a cup of rice each. Bye y'all. Bye folks. Bye, bye, bye folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. Also check out my Belizean cookbook at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.